Hi, and welcome to my Rainbow Loom tutorial on how to make the Sharemark bracelet. This is a bracelet that I invented, and I call it the Sharemark because if you look at the underside, you can look and see that it looks like a four-leaf clover or a shamrock. Before we begin step one, we have to make sure the loom is placed correctly. Make sure the red arrow is pointing away from you and this V-shape is there. Okay, for step one, we are going to be placing the rubber bands. And so first, you need to get your border color. And my border color is green loom white glow in the dark. So you can use whatever color you want, but this is the one I prefer. All right, so you're gonna take your first white rubber band and you're going to place it from the center to the left, diagonally. And then you're gonna take your second rubber band and place it from the center to the right. And then you can push that down if you want. All right, next, we're going to be taking our third rubber band and placing it from the left um, to the pin right in front of it. We're going to do that again. You can do this all the way down to the end of the loom. Right in front. Then as we get to this last pin, we're not gonna place it right in front like usual. We're gonna place it into the center, like that. I'm gonna go back to the beginning where the red arrow is pointing away from you. I'm gonna start on the right side, take a rubber band and place it directly ahead just like we did on the left. And I do this all the way down. Then again, as we get to this last pin, we're gonna place it diagonally so it forms a V-shape. So then your loom should look like this. So we start the red arrow pointing away from you, and then go in a long line where you go into a V again. All right, next we're gonna be placing our green bands. Now I'm using um, DIY brand apple scented green bands. But, like I said, you can use whatever color you want. So we're going to start from this second pin. I'm going to place our green band from the center to the left. And our second rubber band, place it from the center to the right. Third rubber band, center, left. Fourth rubber band, center, right. So now it forms an X. And we're gonna skip a pin and go to the fourth pin. Center, left, center, right, center, left, center, right. Okay, two X's. Make sure you skip this pin. All right, next, skipping a pin. Center left, center right, center left, center right. Okay, push down these rubber bands too your green ones aren't looping on. Okay, this last one is going to be as usual. So center, and then, oopsie, <laughs> center, left, center, right. Center left, and then center right. Okay, 
going back to the red arrow, pointing away from you. We're going to take our green balloon, light green bands, and take one. And we're going to be placing capping bands on each of the middle and the red X's. So if you want, you can push it down. And I like to do this. It'll be easier to put them on. Okay. Starting where the first green arrow is, we're going to take a green rubber band and stretch it on two fingers, like so. Twist it into a figure eight and pull it back upon itself so it's doubled up. Take it off and put it on the green arrow, like this. Okay, I'm gonna do that again. Put on two fingers, twist it into a figure eight, and then put it back upon itself so it doubles up. In it on again. See, make sure that it doesn't unfold. To the center pin. Again, push it down more if it needs it. I'm placing cap and bands on all six of our green X's. I like to turn it to make it easier. Okay, and so now I have it so the red arrow is pointing towards me. I'm gonna put a capping band on this last white pin and I'm gonna make my capping band white. Okay, for step two, we're gonna be using our hook and we're going to be looping or hooking our rubber bands. But to start, we need to make sure our loom is placed correctly. So instead of the red arrow pointing away from you, you're gonna turn it so the red arrow is pointing towards you. Okay, let's begin. We're gonna start by looping our green X's. So you're gonna put your, loom, your hook through and pull back the slight green capping band and grab the dark green band. Make sure that your capping band does not fall off while you do this. I'm going to loop it to make a nice, oopsie, raindrop shape. Okay. You can do it again. Take the top green band and then pull on top. So now this light green band is like a triangle. And then you're going to take your top band. And loop it through. Top band, the last one actually. So now, and make it raindrop shape. So now our light green band is a rectangle. Okay, moving on to the second green X. Pull back this light green. Grab the dark green, making sure that your cabin band does not fall off. You can use a finger to hold it down if you want. Okay. And then make it a mean drop. Pull it through and grab the top one. Now it does try it looks like a triangle. And then make it to a raindrop. Again, raindrop and now a triangle surrounding or sorry, a rectangle surrounding this pin. Okay. Next one, halfway there, pull back, and grab, and loop on. Make sure the capping band does not fall off. And then, grab this green, loop it over in a raindrop shape, grab that one, that one, Voila. Okay, so now I've got three rectangle shapes halfway there. Continue hooking until the end. Okay, you're going to go again so that the red arrow pointing towards you. And as you can see, we still have this white capping band. You're going to take this one. Oh, wait. First, let's push down these pins because they're going to have 
a lot of rubber bands on them. I forgot, almost forgot to do this. This is important. Okay, go back to the beginning. And pull back this white capping band. Grab the top white one, pull it over. All right, go back, grab, and pull it to the right. Okay, so now you should have a triangle. All right, now we're gonna reach all the way under these four bands and grab the very bottom white and pull it forwards. Do this again. Go back under all the other bands. It's helpful to look at the side view. And then see that white one? Oopsie. Grab it and pull it forwards. Make sure that your white rubber bands are hooking all of these together. Okay, we're gonna do this all the way down at the end of the loom. Nearing the end now. All right, now as we take this last one, we're gonna pull it into the center. And you see how this is happening. It doesn't look very much like a raindrop. So what you can do is you can just pull it until it does, like so. I'm gonna go back to the beginning where the red arrow is pointing towards you and do the same thing on the other side. This is a hard one. There we go, found it. Now we're gonna do this all the way to the end of the loom. All right, for step three, we are again going to be using our hook and again, returning our loom so the red ear is pointed towards us. All right, so you're gonna grab whatever your border color is. For me, it's white glow in the dark. And you're gonna stick your hook through all of these rubber bands on the center pin and stick it out like this. Next, you're going to be grabbing your white and then putting it on this hook and pulling it through all of those whites. Okay, so now it looks like this. Okay, time to take it off. <laughs> what you're going to do is you're basically just going to go like this, making sure to forget the middle pin. Use your fingers or your hook, you can use whatever you want. The important part is not to stretch your rubber bands too much as you pull it off, because then uh, sometimes they will break. And that's pretty bad once you've made everything. Okay, we're at our last one, and uh, there we go.